Vamos a ver. Executives and authorities from the Canary Islands visited Pope Francis for the 100th anniversary of Club Deportivo Tenerife. This marks 100 years of Club Deportivo Tenerife, and it is important to have the opportunity to celebrate it in many ways. I believe there are many possibilities to celebrate this anniversary. To do it next to the Pope is a symbol of what soccer represents and should represent. We hope this will be the case and that it will symbolize fraternity. Hopefully this will encourage many to make soccer something personal and less radical. The club exemplifies the Pope's words from his general audience and the important work that soccer clubs serve in improving the relationship between the young and elderly. Soccer is an experience that attracts both young and old people. In fact, we see that the love for soccer is widespread, and I think that this can also help keep people's souls, their enthusiasm, alive. In their meeting with Pope Francis, the club gave him gifts and were impressed with the Pope's friendliness and playfulness. The story is that when we gave him the club jersey with the number 10 and his name Francisco, as well as the pennant and scarf, I also gave him a paintbrush that symbolizes the pre-Hispanic history of the Canary Islands. When he saw the scarf, he asked if it is too cold to play there. I told him no, he can play there without a scarf because it's warm. During their meeting, they were able to discuss their mutual passion for soccer. As a good Argentinian, he is very fond of soccer. Let's not forget that Tenerife has been a model for many Argentinian players who have played for our club. He was very happy and above all, taking advantage of this visit, we asked him to give us a hand this year to see if we can get promoted to the first division. After a rewarding trip to Rome, they returned to the Canary Islands to continue celebrating this historic moment for the club.